some sports talk here, Combs. So everybody has circled June first calendar date as a date that players were going to get moved because of yeah. the less impact of salary hits and like all that stuff. June first has officially come, and the Julio Jones talks are starting to heat up even more and more and more. We are hearing about the Patriots. We're hearing about the uh, 49ers. Uh, Packers have come up and surfaced, and the Titans. Where do you think Julio Jones is is going to land after this is all said said and done? Yeah, I keep hearing Patriots, Patriots. Yeah. Patri- I I don't understand that talk at all. He he takes them from maybe a six win team to an eight win team, like. That team is not going to be very good, and they're playing in a division where Buffalo is going to dominate, and Miami is still better than them even with Julio Jones. So I just – I don't know why they would put him in there, but I don't I don't know. I I think that Julio Jones makes a lot – man, Arizona makes a ton of sense. Dallas makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's – I mean, he really does fit in anywhere. He makes any team better. Mm-hmm. He he definitely doesn't make any team worse. I think there he's gonna end up going to whoever is willing to give Atlanta the most. And, and you know, that very well could be the Patriots, just because the Patriots love trading draft picks. And I just I, I think that would be that would be horrible for Julio. Like I know Julio wants to go and win. I think going to New England, does he have a no trade clause? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. To where he sure. gets uh, to choose where he's going? I mean, I doubt it because, you know, he is an aging guy and he only has a couple years left on his on his contract anyways. But 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 I have not heard of any no trade clause of whatsoever. Probably should have done my research a little bit more like 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 on that, but I definitely have not heard any, anything about a no trade clause. But the one thing that I did hear is last week when that uh, – let me put massive air quotes a, a around this when this trade was leaked between the Tennessee Titans and the Atlanta Falcons. It was a first round pick for Julio Jones and a second round pick. So does that even make sense? So basically you are getting Julio Jones for basically a second round pick. That like that that's basically what it like it what it would even out what it even out like out to. Would you, if you were the Falcons, give Julio Jones up for a second round pick? I, if that's the best offer, you you you're gonna give them you're gonna give them up for something. Right. They're not keeping them. I mean, they can't. Uh, and, and yeah. yeah. And so, I think that. Yeah, I, I and that's the thing with with the Atlanta Falcons is, everybody knows you have to give them up. Right. And so, <laughs> so it's one of those things where, man, yeah, I know you want a second round, and I know you want a first round, but. These teams are really just bidding against one another. The the Falcons have zero leverage here, and they're going to take the best offer available. I just and, and I just looked it up. He doesn't he doesn't have a no trade clause. He doesn't get to where, um, get to pick where he wants to go. So, man, I like he probably does end up somewhere that's not really even a contender. I mean, because New England is not a contender, and if even they're going to trade Jones? for Julio, I don't understand it. Even with Mac Jones, no, especially with Mac Jones, they're they're not a contender this season. Even with Mac Jones, I think Mac Jones needs to sit a year. Right, I do agree with that. But I, uh, so I think so. I mean, like obviously, I am embedded in, into the Chiefs community, and there are rumors out there that the Kansas City Chiefs are are packaging a deal to get Julio to Kansas City. Couple of which, 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 which involves a first round pick and one of our receivers as la la as well for Julio Jones. If if Julio Jones went to the Kansas City Chiefs, is that even fair for the AFC? Man, Julio in Kansas City is scary. That's a scary thought. That's a that's a huge weapon for Patty Mahomes. I, man. Julio on one side and Tyreek on the other. It's and just plus Travis Kelsey. Yep. Yeah, that's man. Pick your poison. If, if that happens, it, they could very well go seventeen and zero and, and do the twenty and zero that that uh, you know y- your boy Patty Mahomes said that he would. That's the only record he's thinking about breaking. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that, but uh, I I, I just, chose I don't to know, just man. skin over that comment. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. 
So. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not like he guaranteed. He was asked the question. Yeah. They said, what, you know, if you could break a record, which record do you want to break? And he said, the only record that I'm thinking about that I would love to break would be 20 and 0, which is, it's a team record. Right. You know, so he put the team before himself. So it's not a bad answer. No, no, no. You know, it's, it's, it's a PC answer. But at the same time, people are going to take it and run with it because he said, oh, 20 and 0. Yeah. I'm thinking about 20 and 0. So now they're going to spin that into, oh, Patty Mahomes predicts 20 and 0. Exactly. You know, even though that's not even the case, but yeah. that would be a nasty, nasty offense with Julio Jones. So let me bring I up mean, this. Comment even the like Bears. Look at the Bears, yeah. man. Look, if if you bring Julio to Chicago on the other side of Allen Robinson, plus you got Darnell Mooney, and then I mean, I really like mm-hmm. um, our, our our tight end situation. I really, and, and if Justin Fields is your starter, this I mean. That puts a whole new dynamic here in Chicago, especially since Aaron Rodgers is going to be outside of Green Bay. Yeah, so speaking of a first-round pick, we do have Mr. Wyatt Williams on the show today. Man at underscore TWW is where you can find him. So what's up, Wyatt? What's going on, boys? Man. I You know, I don't know about first-round pick. <laughs> I think he's more of like a, a number 57 um, tattoo, 2-2. Two, two. He's more like that guy. I don't know about first round pick. <laughs> but let me go ahead and bring up this this uh this a comment by a by by a Drew here. He says uh, the Falcons want a first round pick and they have and they said they have already had offer. Yes, they have had an offer for a first round pick, but that first round pick came with Julio they, Jones and a second round pick. So that's they said how they that already had an offer. Yeah, that'd be like that would be like you know um, that's that's like I don't know. That's like Michelle going to to the bar where Javier Baez is at, and saying, "Sorry, I already have a husband." Like, yeah, y- you know, you know damn right well she's going to the room anyway. So oh, it don't even matter. She's Gosh. going. To- she-